In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some cards that I'm going to make with these embellishments from a collaboration I did a couple of weeks ago. So stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends. Today, I've decided to make some early Thanksgiving cards using my Fall Fun collection from Echo Park. This is Cordobella paper, but it's from the Echo Park Paper Company. And all these beautiful stickers. My flag punch from Stepping Up. My little sentiment pieces. And this is a Stepping Up set from Pleasant Pheasants. Wishing you health, happiness, and the riches of God's bounty during this season and always. Give thanks from my latest stamp set that I bought from Echo Park Paper Company. As well as, this is new to me, the pine cone color from Versafine Claire. And I might throw in some green and orange. This is a moss green. So I went ahead and did some card kits. I, I cut up as much as I could to get ready. I'm also going to be using these flowers. And so we're going to go ahead and get started and flag these. All right. This one isn't going to need one of these. I will be using my cut apart some more. I'm also going to cut some inserts for the brown. This is a 110 pound cardstock that I need to use up. But I will be cutting vanilla layers. Sometimes it, it makes a difference to which way you start cutting your your uh, paper as to how many pieces you can get out of it. If I cut the five and a quarter first and then the four, I will get more pieces. I will get four pieces out of one eight and a half by eleven cord stop. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's because I got, I only got two out of the other piece, but that's all right, because that's all I needed. Okay. Let's go ahead and stamp the insides of the cards with my pine cone. Turn it right side up. That might help. Beautiful. Nice, rich, dark brown. I 
And I do have two white card bases, so I won't need the need all of them. Just save them for another time. Three, four. And then let's take our white ones and stamp directly on that. And if you've watched my channel very much at all, you know that I like to stamp the insides first in case it doesn't come out quite right. So I can just turn it over and restamp because the mistake piece side is going to be covered up anyway. Go ahead and start with this one. I cut some matting to go with this really cute little cart cut apart. Using my Tombow Snail Runner. I will link that down below. get these on Amazon. But I also have a link to the Tombow store. So if you'd like to get it there. We're going to put on our little flower with some glue. This is my Tombow Mono liquid glue. And then here's our pumpkin. We're going to do the same here. So there's the front of our card. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and dry. I'm going to go ahead and put the inside in. So hard to choose the, the pattern paper and the cut aparts because there's so much fun things to choose from. Okay, let's get this as centered as possible. And I'm gonna decorate with enamel dots at the very end, but there is the first card. 
and stickers, of course. We'll do all the decorating at the end. Okay. Now we're going to do something similar here. I'm using pattern piece instead of the um, just plain solid cardstock. I think that's very cute. It brings out the red. I think I'll put pumpkins in the middle there too. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, let's make sure that stays put. Let it sit to dry. The glue does dry clear, so in case I make a little smear, we'll let that dry. And then I'll attach it here in a little bit. All right, let's start on our next one. I think I will go ahead and add a stamp sentiment here, but I'll pop it up on foam tape. So let me go ahead and stamp these. I'm gonna do, like I said, I don't know how many I'll need, but I have five. So I'll stamp three in orange and two in moss green. Okay, we're going to take our Give Thanks. It's got a cute little flower on it. Didn't want to do very well, did it? Let's try it again. I didn't put enough ink on. Okay. Just turn the piece over. Every piece of paper has two sides. It's better. It's a lot better. Okay. And then the three in orange. So let me clean this off. a little light there. There. Okay, 
one more. Nope, nope, it didn't go, did it? There. Okay. Now let's go ahead and attach this. That's a beautiful pattern too, isn't it? Sunflowers. We'll be using that next, I think. Coming up very shortly. Okay. Now, let's do the orange. That, I think that'll be pretty. And let's use pop-up dimensionals. Bought these on Dollar at Dollar Tree. I have a link to Dollar Tree down in the description box under the Share a Sale umbrella. Let's go to the edge of the card, like so, and then we will decorate with the stickers and an animal dots at the end. Very good. Okay. Let's see what we have here. will be our next card and we're going to put it on the white card base. Wait, I think I had it the other way around, but I don't think, I think that'll look just fine too. Right in the middle with that popped up on foam dots. Gordon train. It comes every 30 minutes, it seems like. Now we're going to change out this. go. Okay, and there's a third card waiting for decoration. Should we do this one? Kind of our opposite. Sure, why not? Or we could 
can make a matting around this one. Let's see what I have here. Okay, a couple more pieces of pattern paper here. rich red Oh, that's pretty too, isn't it? Okay, let's. This is. No, that wouldn't work. But that would work, I think. Yeah, that would work. Let's get some matting for this. Some brown. Okay, now I'm going to do technique where I'm going to attach the cut apart first and then I'm going to cut around it. Very cute. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put in our layer. My cousin David grows sunflowers in his farm, at his farm. It was my grandfather's farm, and then his father's farm, and now his farm. So I think that's awesome. And there we go. Cute, cute, cute. That will be decorated with enamel dots for sure. And stickers. So there's four. What color should we put here? I think. Oh, waiting. Okay, <laughs> got ahead of myself again. I did not use my little pumpkin, did I? Where should we put it? 
right there. Should we put it up here or here? Let's let's put it over here in the corner. I think I'm gonna pop it up on foam dots. right there how cute is that all right no harm no foul so there's number four no we don't want that one let's see looks like we don't need matting for that I think it looks just fine the way it is Go ahead and stamp the inside of this with our brown pine cone. rich colors in this set. put this one up here this time yeah all right there's number five now let's find maybe So pretty. Cannot pass using this up. Okay. And then this is going to go in the middle. I want it to go all the way out to the edge though. So I'm just going to glue it on and then cut it off. Now, I'm going 
Now I have one left. Yep. I'm hiding over here. Like so. Let's see. Shall we? No, no. Let's put that in the middle right there. Perfect. And we'll pop this up on foam dots. this down in the middle. Very cute. Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna start decorating. I have this all enameled up. As well as my stickers. dots to cover up boo-boos <laughs> most of the time so there's that let's do some stickers we got so many to choose from and since the theme is pumpkins Beautiful. There is card number one. Okay, card number two has quite a little bit of color on it. But let's go. Let's see. Do we have more of a yellowish? I'm, I'm sure we do in all of my different colors here. Or be enameled up for that, and now let's do the inside. Living life with a grateful heart, and let's do an apple pie down here. How cute is that? Card number two, card three. Do something out here, I think. No, I already have pumpkins here. So let's do something different. How about a little wreath of flowers right here? An enamel dot up here. A couple of enamel dots. Do the inside. Beautiful. Card number three. 
This is cute. Let's do some more yellow here. We've got plenty of orange. Okay, now for the inside. number four. Lots of pretty colors here. Let's do this is going to be a little bumpy but still very pretty. stickers. Voila. Card number five. Let me trim that off just a little bit. I just saw that. Okay. I think I'll put a couple of small ones up here and I do have that mossy color. a sticker for this. Cute. And for the inside. your favorite. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching me create these beautiful cards. I'm wishing you the best fall season. It's my favorite. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.